Twenty years ago, twenty years ago, uh, I was seventy-five years old. All right. And I stood in the pulpit here to preach the unadulterated gospel. Somebody said, "What?" If you did your math. I hope you passed every class in math. <laughs> if you did your math, you would reach the figures of 95. Fifty-five of those years I've been preaching. No, I should say more than that. Sixty of those years I've been preaching. And note it, I did not say 95 years old. I'm not one day old. I'm 95 years older. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Because everybody in here, I don't care how young you are, you're growing older. Right. Right. Turn, turn to somebody and tell them I know that's right. <laughs> older. And right now, I, I want to say right now, right now, I ain't talking about a minute before, but I'm talking about right now. Right now. I don't have a pain in my body. Yeah. Nor an ache. Right now. I don't know what's going to happen in the next minute. But right now. Glory to God. In the book of Isaiah. 43rd chapter. The prophet says to the people in captivity in Babylon, the prophet Isaiah is saying to them in the midst of their weariedness that has wearied God, in the midst of their times then, he says to them, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. That is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. You may be seated. <clears throat> I've come to proclaim this thought to us on this 20th anniversary of the pastor that had to be celebrated by the congregation. Expect a great change. Now I did too much trying to get that together for you not to shout over that. Expect a great change. It does not take a world specialist or scholar to convince us that we are creatures of change. When we say that the world is changing, well, it's only changing because we are changing the world. 
We constantly change. We are creatures of change. In most cases, we gladly and joyfully invite change. In some very obvious areas of our living, comparatively speaking, whether positive or negative, we ought to thank God for change. We live in a changing world that changes only because we've changed it. And God has blessed us, Pastor, and blessed you to be able to adapt to whatever the changes have been. In fact, we're living better because there have been some changes. We might argue about some changes, but most of us look better since some change has come. Don't let me call the roll now, some of us. Some of us feel better because of change. Medical science has changed and made a, made a difference in our living. Christ looks at us. God looks at us. Holy Spirit looks at us. And they change not. God permits change, but he changes not. Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I thank him. I'm thanking him for making, so, making it so that we can change. <laughs> In fact, these 95 years, I know I've been changed. I, I, and I'm coming by on this pastor's anniversary for, for you, pastor, and for you, Tabernacle, to say to you, don't try to stop change. For change will work in the worst of times, and change will work in the best of times. Tough time, your change is coming. <laughs> Rough times, but a change is coming. In the midst of that song that says so fervently, great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, my Father, there is no shadow or turning with thee. Thou changest not. Thy compassion, they fail not. As thou hast been forever shall be. Hallelujah. He is still faithful. Still loves us. Still feeds us when we are hungry. Still clothes us when we're naked. Still rules and super rules. Still providing for us. Still protecting us still abiding with us. I wish I had about 10 people to say, I know that's right. Yes, sir. Hey. Pastor, congregation, don't fight change. Expect a great change. It's coming. I'm so glad it's coming. I, 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 I hear all Folk around my age and 20 years younger, talking about I ain't getting into that. Get into whatever that's directed toward the kingdom of God. Be amenable, be, be understanding, be loving that God is blessing us to make change. Well, these people are spending their lives in a, in a captivity. God's people. We've been under a captivity for the last almost three years. Nobody has ever experienced what we have experienced in the last three years. But isn't it wonderful to know 
that God is saying, do not remember the former thing. Don't remember, don't consider the things of old. Because what was will never be again. Uh, what was will never be again. Stop talking about things ain't like they used to be. Start right now thanking God that things ain't what they used to be. What was will never be again. The past is the past. I don't care what happened then, how, how we then. God doesn't even want us to go back. And, some of these testimonies ought to talk about what God's doing for us now. He did not, Isaiah was, saying, Isaiah was saying to them, I know God brought you through. I know he opened up the Red Sea. I know he delivered you out of Egypt. But do not play on the past. I wish I had a witness in here. Now is what's important. Then has gone. Life is bursting forth with that which is about to come to pass. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Get your minds stayed on Jesus. Get your mind stayed on him who will give you perfect peace. Paul puts it, I have not arrived. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind me. Because what's behind me is gone. I can't go back there and get it. I tell folk that I don't want to be 94. I don't want to be 64. I don't want to be 34. I don't want to be 4. I'm thankful that I'm 95. Because I've come all the way with Jesus at my side. I need about 10 people who stand on your feet and say, if it had not been for the Lord at my side, I wouldn't be where I am today. Say it! Yeah. Say it! Yeah. Now, now, life is bursting forth with that which is to come to pass. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. It's counting now. Somebody ought to say, I know that's right. People are talking about the past, what I used to do. You can't do it now. It won't work now. But this one thing I do, Paul says, forgetting those things that are behind, I've got too much before me to look behind me. So I'll reach and I'll press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I like to demonstrate I'll reach and I'll press. Come on, reach out. Reach out, reach out, press on. Won't he do it? Say yeah. The past is a great place to learn from, but a terrible place to live in. I know you're still wearing things of old, but every now and then get something different. You ain't got to wear what they wear, but wear something different. I know how you used to think of old, but think positively now. Paul said, whatsoever things are, are true and whatsoever things are, are loving and whatsoever things are pure and whatsoever things are just, think on these things and stop thinking about your past because you will never see it again. But expect great things. Tabernacle, you got a great pastor. And he's going forward because that's in his heart. And I want you, the second, to look to do what you've never done before. The pastoring days are filled with people saying, well, you know, we ain't never done that before. Well, that's why you ought to do it. I'm doing things 
I've never done before. At 95. I never drove a car at 95. I'm doing things I've never done before. I know where I'm going at 95. I know how to get there. I know how to get back. I'm doing things I've never done before. I know my name. I know my address. I know my birth date. I know my people. Won't he do it? Say it. Won't he do it? Say it. Expect great things in the midst of the bad situations. Expect great things. Look to do what you've never done before. I remember when the computer came out. I said, no, no, not me. Not at this age. Then the smartphone. Mm -mm. You can text me all you want to text me. I'll text you right yeah. back. You can Zoom me all you want. I'll Zoom you right back. <laughs> Somebody else say, thank you, God, that I'm living in the time I'm living in. That is why we don't need to link in the past. Here's what the text says. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. A new thing. Somebody say a new thing. A new thing. God is about to do a new thing. A new thing. Get ready for God to do a new thing. He's going to do a new thing until he make a new you. Tabernacle, with this pastor that you have, you have not seen anything yet. God has so much in him that God wants him to bring to the city of Jacksonville, the state of Florida, to America. This is a trained man. This is, this is an ordained man. This is a consecrated man. This is a loving man. This man has foresight, and this man has 42. Talk with him in the office. And he said something that's hard and certainly labeling in my heart. I'm tired of folk calling me a Christian. Mm -hmm. so are you a Christian? I'm going to start telling them, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, what do you mean? Well, you know, I've been a Christian for years. I don't know why that mic want to go out on me then. All these years, I've been a Christian. Take that from me. And I looked at that thing. It said, love your enemy. I ain't got there. I'm not even trying to get there. As a Christian. But as a disciple, I wish I had somebody. But as a disciple, I'm getting there. I wish I had about 10 people who said, I'm ready to be a disciple for Jesus Christ. Uh, and, 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 and you ought to look to do things, darling, that you've never done before because you're a disciple. New thing. We never done that before. Well, this is new. You're living in a new system. You just had bad leadership. Not here. Well, that's another story. But things are getting better. Despite what you're seeing. It's getting better because God is stirring it up. And it's his word. And his word is a lamp unto our feet and a light on our path. His word is well, well worth listening to. His word is well worth believing. His word will not fail when he says, Behold, I will bring you something new. Turn to somebody and say, I want to be new. I don't want to be renovated. I want to be new. I don't want to be made over. I want to be new. After all I've been through, repairing won't help me. Reviving won't even help me. In these 95 years, I can't tell you all, but I've been right and I've been wrong. More wrong than right. So I need to be made new. I need to look at my hands. And my hands look new. 
I need to look at my feet and my feet look new. I need to look at my heart and my heart is new. I need to look at my soul and my soul is new. Somebody ought to say yeah. You need to get on board. Old things are passing away. Get ready. Behold new things. Look at your life. New look. Look at your mind. New mind. Look at your heart. New heart. Look how you're loving. New love. God's love. God says, I am going to do a new thing. Some of us don't need it. We say it because I'm satisfied the way I am. That's why you're so behind. Because you're not moving up to where God wants you to be. Paul, Christ says, any person be in me. They are new creatures. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. I've come by this, and I've said two things. Because you know, I'm not going to stay up here long. Don't have to do that. Don't want to do that. I want to say what I've got to say and take my seat. You've got to make sure that you don't look back because you can't go back. You've got to make very sure that God will bring unto you that which you've never done before. But finally, expect a great change despite the difficulties you're going through. Just be ready. Just get ready for deliverance. Somebody in here this morning need deliverance. In the latter portion of that verse, God says to Isaiah, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This sounds like the old saints used to say, he'll make a way out of no way. Won't he do it, church? God is saying to you, pastor, expect a great change to be about your ministry. What was will never be in our life again. Look to do what you have never done before. But despite the difficulties, get ready for deliverance. The same God, the same God that brought them out of captivity. It's the same God who will bring us out of this perilous period in which we're living in. It is some perilous times. I understand that we are on the national level. We can't get together because they want power. On the international level, we can't get together because they want power. We can't get together in our local own community because they want power. But I've come this morning to tell you we can't have power without God. I said we can't have power without God. God. I said God Jehovah. God. I mean God omnipresent. God. I mean God omnipotent. God. Am I talking right? God who has all power, God who has all knowledge, God who is omnipresent, he's everywhere at the same time, God who knows everything about everything, God, I'm about to get happy here, God, God, Jehovah God, Nisi God, ain't he all right, say yeah, ain't he all right, say yeah. He's our supernatural protector. He's our supernatural provider. You can get hungry and don't have anything, but won't he feed you? I've got about 10 people who know that God, Jehovah, is a God who will provide. Won't he do it? Say yeah. Hasn't he done it? Say yeah. He's an on-time God. Say yeah, say yeah, say yeah. I know he's all right. I know he can fix it. I thank him. I thank him for these 95 years. I waited on him until he came. And when he came, I got more strength than I had when I was 49. You say, no way, but he's a God who makes a way out of no way. Say yeah, say yeah. Come on, say yeah. Stand on your feet and give God praise. Stand on your feet and give God glory. Stand on your feet and give him a hallelujah. Say yeah, say yeah, 
say, say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, go tell it that you saw a 95-year-old jump. You saw a 95-year-old run. Go tell them you saw a 95-year-old kick up. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Say it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't take my seat until I tell you about the man who made it possible. They crucified him on a fry. They said he's finished. That's all. And he died. Didn't he die? Say yes, he did. All day Friday, all day Saturday, never a mumbling word. But somebody help me. Early, 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 Sunday morning, he got up with all, all power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't help it, yeah. I can stand up and I can sit down. But when my name is called, I'll come when you want me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 